Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Vincent. Today I want to ask you as a question. Have you ever woke up and pretty much without even noticing that you woke up, you hit the snooze button on your smartphone and then you went on sleeping for like two more hours and when you wake up it's already 10 a.m. and you are already late from school or work or from a meeting. I personally have uh, and this has happened to me uh, quite a lot of times so when I found out about this app called Alarmy I was super happy because it pretty much just helped me uh, reduce the amount of time that this happens so uh, yeah this is not a paid advertisement or anything like that unfortunately I'm not getting paid by them at all uh, but I just genuinely enjoy this app so that's why I'm gonna share it with you guys I actually found out about this app from another uh, youtuber called Iman Gaji so shout out to him check out his channel he got some amazing content uh, on YouTube. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the main features of Alarmy and also how to set it up to minimize the amount of time that you oversleep. So let's get straight into this video. So first of all, let's start with the pricing. Alarmy is a free app, but if you want to get all the features that make it special, you need to get the pro version, which is $7.99 in the App Store. Um, I don't know how much it is for Android, I would guess it's pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, it's not a very cheap app, but not an expensive app either. I would say $7.99 is definitely worth it, so uh, I would suggest you to get the uh, pro version. So here's what makes this app special. You can customize pretty much everything on it. Also, I really like how minimalistic the whole app looks and it's just super simple, very easy to understand how it works and uh, it's not just like crumbled. I think it looks way better than the uh, official Apple application and uh, it certainly works better than that. On the main page of the app you can see um, all of your alarms that you have on and you can also see on the top which is the next alarm and uh, in how many hours it's going to go off. It also tells you the weather which is pretty cool. Right now the weather situation here is not the best but that's good actually for the video's lighting so I really appreciate that nature. On each alarm that you have on your main page you have a slider that you can turn the alarm uh, on and off with which is pretty cool, very simple, pretty much all of the alarm clocks have this but uh, I want to mention it still. And you can also see below the alarm uh, which days it goes on and uh, what's the label of the alarm and uh, what's the method of turning it off. But now let's move on to the main selling point of this app which is the missions or pretty much the thing is you can change how you want to dismiss the alarm which is really cool you have six different options to dismiss the alarm and uh, some of them are very uh, smart and will definitely you know ha get you out of your bed so the missions that you can choose from are the following you have the default where you can pretty much just turn it off with your hand you have the shake you have the take a picture you have math problems you have a barcode slash QR code reader and you have a memorizer game. So I personally recommend you to use either the barcode reader or the take a picture function. I use the barcode reader because uh, what I pretty much do is uh, I get out of bed and I need to scan uh, the barcode of my shampoo in the shower. So that gets me out of my bed and I straight up go to the shower and then I will take a sh uh, cold or a hot shower in the morning. So that uh, immediately you know gets my uh, heart going and uh, I probably won't sleep um, back if I already got out of my bed and I already took a shower but I will show you more of that later on when I will show you how to set up this whole app so there are also a bunch of sounds that you can pick from a bunch of alarm clock sounds um, there are some very loud ones and there are some very gentle ones and the really cool thing is that you can turn on and off the snooze button this is probably one of the most um, useful features of it because I don't think you can turn off the snooze button in the original Apple application and uh, for me turning off the snooze button was pretty much a game changer because what that means is that you cannot turn off the alarm clock sound until you complete your co um, mission that you have set for a certain day. So that's really really useful and uh, I guarantee you if you have the uh, snooze button turned off and you put there a mission like uh, take a picture of that 
cereal bowl, for example, then I guarantee you, you won't be able to sleep um, back, or maybe you can sleep back, but at least you won't fall back asleep, um, you know, without you wanting to go back to sleep. So there is also a section in the app where you can um, kind of listen to like sleep musics or relaxing musics, but I don't really use that to be honest, but I might gonna try it out because it looks very promising and looks very nice. So yeah, I'm probably gonna try it out a few weeks from now, but to be honest, I don't really use that. Uh, but if you want to like listen to relaxing sounds before going to bed, then I guess that's there for you. So you get that with this app. And last but not least, there is kind of like a new section of the app. Uh, to be honest, I never use that. You can pretty much see the weather there. You can see your horoscope and you can also see like some news. But for my country, that doesn't even work. So yeah, I basically only use the main function of the application, which is to set alarm clocks and uh, use the um, different types of missions to um, dismiss it. So right now I'm gonna go into my phone and show you exactly how I set up my alarm clock uh, and how I customize it to minimize the amount of time that I oversleep. So I hope you're gonna find that helpful and let's get straight into the phone. So when you open the app, this is how it looks. And you can see that I only have one alarm here, which is set to 6 a.m. And you can see here that it says I have 16 hours and 52 minutes remaining until the alarm. Let's go into the settings first. These are my settings. I have picture sensitivity to normal. I don't know exactly what that means. I have max snoozes to unlimited, but I have this snooze button turned off, so it doesn't really matter. And then I have mission time limit here. This is normally set to 20 seconds, but I set it to 40 because um, if I can't actually complete my mission in 20 seconds, then it's gonna be so uh, painful to listen to the alarm clock again and uh, I might wake up my family, so I don't want to do that. So I have that uh, set to 40 seconds, but if I get out of the bed, I'm not gonna go back to sleep. So that doesn't really matter for me. Uh, and then there is battery saving mode. I don't have that turned on personally. Um, and then there is bedtime reminder. I don't have that turned on either. Um, and then I have for the sound use built-in speaker that's turned on. And then this is set to 15 seconds. I have mute in dismiss mode and that's turned on. So basically what that means is once you are um, doing your mission kind of, uh, the alarm goes off so at least until you are doing your mission it's not gonna be beeping or making a loud and annoying sound and then for the theme I have it set to blue but you can change it uh, so the color of the buttons are gonna change and stuff like that so for the wallpaper I have a custom wallpaper which is a cool picture of an M2 but uh, you can also choose from the various ones they have built in in the app in the miscellaneous I don't have this turned on and uh, yeah pretty much that's it for my settings and then if we, we go into this one then you can see that I have on the mission the barcode um, slash QR code reading and then um, this basically means that that's what I named the mission because that means soap in my language so yeah on the snooze I have it turned off as you can see the label is grind and shine to make it super motivational and stuff like that. Um, and on the sound, I have this morning pork sound. Okay, so this is how it sounds. It's basically just like birds and, and stuff like that. So very calm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in action. So guys, this is where I sleep, except that it's uh, folded out. Uh, at night and so now I have my alarm clock set here as you can see it's going to go off in uh, 15 seconds so yeah you're gonna see how it works basically it's uh, on my desk right there but uh, now I'm just want to show you how it works let's assume I'm sleeping and this is how it goes on
So as you can see, I get this gentle, like, uh, forest sound, and I can click on it. Face ID will register me, and then, you can see here, I need to dismiss it. So let's go. Now all I need to do is scan this item, which is in my bathroom. So that's what I'm gonna do exactly. I'm gonna go into my bathroom and uh, turn on the lights. And now if I go into my shower, you can see that I have this soap here. And so if I click on scan, then I basically like scan this thing. Oops. Yeah, you can see alarm dismissed. By the time I'm here, all I need to do is take a shower. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you got some value out of this. Again, this was not a sponsored video. I just uh, really enjoy this application. I hope it's gonna help you. And uh, if you liked it, make sure to drop a like on it. And also please subscribe to the channel. If you like the, this type of content, then um, you know, you really should subscribe because you, I'm going to deliver you more videos like this. And also, if you just uh, have any questions or anything you want to say, then comment that down below and I will reply to every single comment. And also, follow me on Instagram. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye!